Okay, guys, I just finished uh, power sanding the whole house. Okay, now I'm just going around and checking for uh, tapes that I could see through. Well, I could see the tape. So I have a butt joint right here. Okay, so this is the butt joint, and I can see the tape, and it kind of feels. It, it honestly feels flat, but I could see the tape and it's on the wall. If I could see the tape on the ceiling a little bit, it's not a big deal because it's going to get textured. But on the walls, especially with this picture window back here, and there's another window here, and this is the dining room, so you want to make it look good. So I'll show you how... And I'm gonna skim this really tight because like I told you, it already feels really flat. I can just see the tape a little bit, all right? So I'm gonna use my Hawk and my uh, stainless steel flat trowel. It's, you know, old Betsy. It's a uh, 13 by five. I like the really wide trowel because it doesn't, your, your knuckles don't hit the ceiling or the wall when you're going into a corner. Okay. So I'm just going to load my uh, hawk. All right. That should be enough. You don't need a lot to skim a butt joint. I, I don't even need that much. There you go. I just got rid of, so that's, that's good enough, okay? So, as always, first thing I do is I load the butt joint. And I, I don't even have to go any wider, just a little bit. Literally one inch wider than it already is. There's one side. There's the other side. Now I'll just go down the middle. There you go. Now I'm just going to take it all off. One side, other side, and flat down the middle. You always want to finish with the middle. All right. Unfortunately, I'm running out of time. All right, guys. Um, but I will make more videos. Have a good one.